Here at Barnes Jewish Hospital in Washington University, I'm blessed to be able to work with a large group of uh, neurosurgery colleagues, uh, each of which uh, has special expertise and brings a special uh, way about them uh, that makes the, the whole of uh, Department of Neurosurgery greater. My field of neurosurgery, uh, especially uh, specializing on conditions uh, uh, of the blood vessels of the brain, and again, those are areas like brain aneurysms, uh, vascular malformations that patients are born with. It also is uh, stroke uh, and, uh, and carotid disease uh, that can lead to the stroke. We are using um, technology or approaches that are less invasive uh, than we used to. One way is the use of catheters uh, or small tubes that uh, are inserted into the blood vessel in the groin area and then threaded up uh, into uh, the brain area and inside the aneurysm to treat that aneurysm without the use of an incision or, uh, or any kind of uh, uh, leaving any kind of scar that uh, anyone would see. At the same time, there are some brain aneurysms that still require open surgery and we're developing better ways to do that surgery, smaller incisions, smaller openings, uh, uh, and uh, uh, done in a way that patients can literally go to the hospital for their procedure, have their aneurysm surgically treated, and able to go home a day or two days later to get back to their life and recover uh, much more uh, rapidly and, and, uh, and with better outcomes. Mm -hmm.